What's going on, soldiers? Welcome back to the boot camp. I still don't know. So, uh, really quick, I wanted to say welcome to the first travel vlog in a very long time. I'm actually pretty excited about this one. There's a lot going on. So, if you watched the bat chair video or have heard me reference it a few other times, I work for a company technically called Namra, but we call it the car seat key because that's the product that they make and that's what most people know them for. We are going on a business trip to Minneapolis, Minnesota, where it's currently like 14 degrees and uh, they are meeting with a very big retailer that's in the U.S. At least they're huge in the U.S. I'm imagining they're pretty big elsewhere as well, but uh, to discuss further plans and partnerships and different things going on uh, between us. I am not at liberty to say who it is yet, but it's kind of a big deal, and we're pretty pumped to talk about it. Uh, I just can't say what it is yet. So keep your eyes on the channel and keep your eyes on the Curtsy Key Instagram uh, to wait until that news is officially unveiled. But until then, I just wanted to let you guys know I am uh, currently recording this the night before. I'm about to go to bed. I'm all packed up for the trip. We are leaving. <laughs> it even pains me to say this. We're leaving at 3.30 in the morning. I don't know if I've ever been awake that early in my life. Ever. That sounds like Japanese bamboo torture. It just... God. I'll see you at 3.30 and I'll be even happier than I am right now. It is currently... 3.49 in the morning. I don't know how well you can see that because this should be bright sometimes. We are getting started on this adventure to Minneapolis. As you can tell, my excitement is through the roof. Let's move on from this setting. Good morning, Dylan. Good How night. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. You're dancing? Oh, that helps. It's even cold here, bro. Fuck all I know, this. that's what I'm saying. Well, here we go. Two hours later. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. Dap up the plane. We just made it to Minneapolis and we're walking to the hotel. It's currently 20 degrees outside, so I figured it was a perfect opportunity to get the exercise. We're gonna try this. I wanna feel what this looks like. I've never experienced anything below 50. Ooh! No, oh. no, no, no. It actually wasn't that bad. It's kind of refreshing. It's not that bad. I was joking, that wasn't that bad. Is it not that bad right now? It's kind of weird. Yeah. How's it going, man? Yeah, no, it's for first time in Minnesota. Yeah. Straight from LA. Yeah, there's a wind chill. Oh, what the with fuck? The wind chill. How is that below, even like livable? 60 below was the temperature. That was, that was years ago, but now it, now it doesn't get that cold. Unless they do the polar vortex. I don't even know what that, I've never heard that before in my life. I would love to, I want to live a long life. I didn't ask to be here, but I'm gonna make the most of it. You know, it's all about keeping your health. I want to stay mentally young. Yeah. You will be 102. Now 22, right? Yeah. So 80 plus 22, 102. Yeah, you'd be 102. Oh, 102. If I live to be 102, I will find you in the afterlife and I will figure out what you knew. <laughs> So we decided to go out for a stroll. It felt a little cramped in the hotel room. So we wanted to see what the Minneapolis nightlife was like on a Thursday evening. Turns out it's pretty lit. <laughs> We're going to Marshall's to buy warm clothes for Kristen tomorrow. Cause they didn't pack warm clothes. Warm clothes? Yeah, isn't that why we're here? No. Why are we here? We have meeting clothes. We have clothes for the meeting. Oh, to to they don't have clothes for the meeting. Okay. So they have warm clothes. They don't have clothes for the meeting with the big retailer tomorrow. So we're here for meeting clothes. Warm clothes are a check. Meeting clothes are just a box. We don't have warm clothes either. <laughs> they don't have warm clothes either. So they're fucked. We Ooh, we got this going on. Fur overload. With the face mask. Not California here. Mara's feeling it. All I'm saying is there's a reason why the streets are desolate out here. 
a major city and not like a fucking soul, man. To be quite honest with you, I don't know where the fuck we're going. Caribou coffee. coffee. It's closed. These motherfuckers said they're open. Due to weather conditions, this is on the other side. Yeah, due to fucking hypothermia. So not a whole lot happened today. I'm still in the hotel. Been here for a lot of the day. I went out and took some photography pictures uh, amongst the streets with the people, the Minnesotians. Um, we'll see if some of those turn out cool. If I edit them in time, maybe I'll throw them up on the screen right here. Maybe I won't, I don't know. Uh, we're supposed to be going to the Mall of America at some point, which I think would be pretty sick because I've never been and I've only ever seen pictures and heard stories and I heard there's a freaking roller coaster in there. Also, they have an Ikea, so I'll probably get lost for seven hours. But yeah, I just thought that this shot looked kind of cool with kind of all the buildings in the background and the way the lighting was, so. Really nothing cool, just kind of talking. Hey, if I were to ever do a Q&A or ask people for to send in questions or anything like on Twitter or, or Instagram, um, would you guys, would you send something in? Like, would you actually care enough? No, I just thought maybe if I ever did that with like questions about graphics or videos or where I'm at or what I'm doing or questions about life, I don't fucking know. But if, uh, yeah, if you follow me, follow me on Twitter or Instagram, it's at TripMac, but the A is upside down, so it's Trip Mivk. <laughs> Make it a little bit more engaging between all of us. So next scene, we're going somewhere. So it's the next day, and um, it's still cold, but it's not as cold. Hold on, let me fix this camera around because it's kind of being weird. Um, Get off YouTube. Fuck you, man. I got bills to pay. Uh, this is my first time outside, and like. 15 hours, so um, Minneapolis, it still looks exactly the same. It's still cold as hell. Actually, no, it's 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 cold as, it's a lot colder than hell. We'll see what the Mall of America has to offer, uh, and then it's back to the airport to go back to LA, so, Lego. in a Hilton in an abandoned city when there was a Nickelodeon theme park like 13 minutes away? What? Oh my god, we're going straight up right now. Hold on to him, you guys. Oh my god. I gotta adjust the exposure. Yeah, that's me. You're probably wondering how I got myself in this situation. Well, let's start from the beginning. No, uh, no, we're just gonna continue the vlog. We're almost done, thanks. Another one's by your waist, out of the cross. Hey, you want to show me really quick? Oh, yeah. Show me? That was nuts, man. So we just got done doing the Void VR experience. Let's flip it, show them. The Void, this. Secrets of the Empire. So we're at the Mall of America still. We did the VR Void experience where you're hooked up to VR and you feel it on your chest and your arms and you actually hold it like a physical gun, not a real gun, but you know what I mean, and you're walking through mazes and in and out of rooms and interacting physically while in VR, never experienced anything like it. You guys need to look more into this. This shit was nuts. So we just left the Mall of America. We had a grand old time, didn't we, gang? Yep. Um, met a lot of trippers. Uh, love Tripper Army as strong as ever in Minnesota. <laughs> and, and now we're on our way back to the airport to head back to LA <laughs> and get some in and out and sleep in my own bed in a state that knows 80 degree weather again. And I can't tell you how excited I am for that, but it was a good trip. All right, so 
<sighs> we got like 10 minutes till we gotta be at our terminal. So priorities. I'm playing. We do have like 10 minutes, but I'm not gonna drink it that fast. Thanks for all the memories, Minnesota. May be back, may never be back, but I'll let you know. Am I right? Well, we are your excuse. Hey, look, somebody's filming me. I'll see you tomorrow on YouTube, mama. I'll pay you the $20 I owe you, mom, tomorrow. What's up, babe? Please uh, obey, because you're not gonna go fly an attendant on you and you don't want that. Yeah, I know, I know Spanish and I'm not afraid to use it, so be aware. <laughs> if they don't fit, let us know. We'll put them in the overhead in for you. Don't worry about it, you don't have to pay for this, all right? We already have your credit card on file anyway, so. Okay. <laughs> hey, it's a spirit, what do you expect? Uh, <laughs> wow. Fantastic. What do you your your distant smile off in the in the distance? Your distant distance. That was distracting. You guys a lot. Yeah. We're back in LA. Uh, it was quite the flight back. It was quite the experience. It was quite the flight attendant. I hope you guys enjoyed that little that little bit because we sure did. But we're back. Uh, this is where I'm gonna end the Minneapolis adventure. Thanks for tuning in. I'm itching my legs mid-sentence. It means a lot. Bye.